Outdoor Living Concepts presents What's Cooking California? Brought to you by Folded Hills Winery and Barkingham Tet Hotel. Featuring Chef Andrew Copley and Leonardo Curdy with special guest Melinda Lee. Welcome to California. A little bit of S&P, a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm. Es buenísima. You can stir it and whisk it and taste it and monkey with it and get it just right and have a wonderful time. Let's see what's cooking today. Leonardo. Oh, hi, Kim. I brought you some produce from our winery gardens and some wine. Wow, that is fantastic. I was just thinking to see what we can do for lunch today. This is my friend Kim from Folded Hills Winery. And do you know I've always wanted to work in a commercial kitchen? Well, we'll come to my kitchen. Put me to work. All right. And who's coming for dinner tonight? Lou and Kathy. Wonderful. Our Can't friend wait. from Los Angeles. Can't wait to meet them. So what's for dinner? This is beautiful. For dinner, we have orata con patate. It's a Mediterranean sea bream with a potato crust. And we're going to use your fresh herbs that you brought over for your garden. Good. And uh, tiramisu. Oh. And for uh, side dish, we do risotto al zafferano. Saffron risotto with Parmesan cheese. If you can just go ahead and lay those plates. First thing we do is we pour just a little bit of oil okay. on each one. And a little salt, salt on the oil. Also, the salt will help us uh, for the fish you not know, to stick. So we'll lay it up like that, all the same. Make sure the fish touches the oil. And then go ahead and get a little uh, lemon grated, if you can, please, and the fish. Have a little fun. So that's, yeah, that's good enough. Just go everywhere. I love this fresh herb here. Real farm to table and ocean to table we have here. I like that. So okay. and then, this is be yours. Okay. Not too much, just a little bit. Look here, just, like, just a few, and just sprinkle on top. We wanna just use the little part so we don't get those little sticks. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit more salt. Okay. Not too much. And then this is the nice, fun part. Those will basically represent the fish scale again. You know, the fish has a scale, yes. all laid together. We'll do that together. I'm gonna show you one, you go one, Two, three. And how did you prepare these potatoes? This potato, I peeled Yukon gold, and, uh, and then we use a mandolin, which is available almost to any kitchen store right now. We thinly slice it, blend them in boiling water with salt for like two minutes, mm -hmm. and then we just drain them and let them cool. What a great recipe also to do for a dinner party because you can prepare Are this actually. Are we baking it just like yes, this? Yes, we're gonna bake them Come just on. like that, yeah. Oh my gosh. You see this big fire behind us? This is our pizza oven. We're gonna bake them right this there. This is amazing. All right, our dish is ready. I will do a little bit of salt just on the potato and maybe a tiny bit of more oil. So it gives a little crispiness and color. And then we can go ahead and bake them. So, Leonardo, if we don't have this beautiful pizza oven at home, what do we? How do we cook these? Five hundred at your house oven. Yeah, you preheat it for an hour. It's just beautiful. Here we go. Ready? All right. I've never done this. Okay, you go ahead. All right. We just put them right in the middle. One right here. We can be in the baking business together. I don't know. <laughs> I make the loaf, and you bake it. All right. Sounds All right. good. Here we go. All right. You can almost taste the excitement. You can almost taste the anticipation. And very soon, you will be able to taste all the new Warson Wines. Launching April 2020. Warson Wine. Watch us grow at WarsonWine.com. Welcome to Barkingham Pet Hotel, California. We are a five-star luxury, real hotel for dogs. 
your dog will be treated like California royalty. We have an indoor, outdoor facility. Everything in the building is a California theme. California Dreaming Pet Boutique, California Grooming. Your dog can come to us for a whole spa day. California Dreaming Pet Art, a pet art photography studio. California Paws Rescue. We have a certified dog trainer who offers behavior training and agility training. Our large luxury suites have king size beds. We also have the Intercontinental for cat boarding. We've got about 22,000 square feet for your dog to have a wonderful time and a wonderful vacation stay. Doesn't your best friend deserve the best? California Paws Rescue is a 501c3 nonprofit. It is part of Barkingham Pet Hotel. If you're looking for a loving dog to rescue and to give a home to, please visit California Paws Rescue website. Nobody says outdoor entertaining better than outdoor living concepts. Transform your backyard into the ultimate barbecue and entertainment experience. From professional barbecue equipment, outdoor kitchens, to custom built fireplaces, fire tables, and fire pits. Outdoor Living Concepts, your exclusive dealer for jacuzzi brand spas. From rustic to modern, we can customize your backyard into the ultimate in backyard fun. Visit our contractor wholesale design showroom open to the public in Palm Desert. Let Outdoor Living Concepts make your outdoors the great outdoors. So now we're going to do risotto al zafferano. I know it's one of your favorite things. Love it. We in the kitchen use a couple of techniques for risotto. Lots of time for us, we pre-cook it. Let's go ahead and uh, start it by adding a little bit of olive oil. Just, pan is always warm. We add the shallots. Shallots? Yes. And what do we want to do? We do not want a brown, dark, or golden. Just a little flavor. The reason is, rice is white. And if these are golden or brown, you can see like little spots. So that's uh, not good flavor also, and uh, doesn't look good in the pan. That looks good to me. Ready? Just a little flavor. Let's go ahead and add some rice. Risotto, sorry, go ahead. I love to make risotto when I have guests. Yes. Because you can just stir and sip a little wine. Do you want all of it in? Please do, I love that. And they can chat with you and drink their wine. So just to give them a little stir if you can, okay? We're not gonna have any salt or any pepper. We wanna keep it simple. Okay. We have a nice uh, chicken and vegetable stock right there that we can use, so. A little vino? A little vino, a little yes. A little white wine. Oh, see. This is a Grenache Blanc and Roussan. Uh, lots of aroma right here. Good. Blend all, I can, mm. Mm, mm. You know, when I was pulling this up, it feels like you're in the winery when they start making wine and Nothing the evaporation. Better, huh? That's the beautiful. I love it. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. So we have some saffron right here that we already dissolved it with water. Just go ahead and add them all. All of it? Yeah. Yes. So with risotto, it's lick, add the liquid, let it absorb. And then add liquid and again. And add you liquid need again. It hot. Yeah, just stir it Look like that. Look at the that. color. It's beautiful. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It's called uh, like almost golden leaves. Mm. So we bring this to a boil. And as this evaporates, we just take a little bit of vegetable and chicken stock just for flavor, okay? Okay. And we just start it right in. And less than 21 minutes, it should be ready. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the, yes. That's the fun of that's risotto. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's a good idea. A little risotto for the pan and a lot for the cook. Or a little, little uh, wine, I should say. This is uh, all Grenache Blanc. This is 90% um, Grenache Blanc, 10% Roussan. It's oh. a typical Rhone white blend, very crisp. It'll um, pair really well with this. This will dish. also go really well with the Branzino oh, we made be before, okay? Incredible with that. Yeah, I like now that. I cooking. like that. That's cooking. You see, we just add always a little bit. Had a little bit more stock. 21, 21 minutes, more or less, from the start of the, of the liquid. To finish. It looks like it's about ready to me. The liquid, the stock, and the saffron is well absorbed. So what I like to do at this point, because we can 
We can uh, use this as a side dish. I would like to turn the fire off. Okay. And uh, add a couple of scoops of butter. Two? Yeah. I like three myself, so yeah, I like that. While we're doing that, you just put a bit, okay? Make it small like that, the way we did it. Go ahead and also and add uh, Parmesan so cheese. So this looks like it's a little bit wet still. Is still there it a re is. Yes, reason we need that it. you... Yes, I like it because we want them to be to rest a little bit. Okay, yeah. but, and that'll absorb more water. More water. And the Parmesan will absorb more water and as well. I mean, more of the liquid. And everything will also be able to come together. Okay, you don't just stir it and do it. I know that you say you like a little extra butter, but I like a little extra cheese. Okay, I'll... Okay, I like that, the way you do okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's go ahead oh. and stir it. Smells oh good, Oh my eh? gosh. So just to give them a nice little stir. Okay. Bring in the love. Take out all the bad things. Remember what we say in the beginning, you eat it raw, Put all in or all we out? We are all in <laughs> okay. on this risotto. All right, so we'll let them sit. Mm -hmm. We go back in the kitchen, pick up our plate, have a sip of wine, and maybe we go ahead and plate the branzino with the risotto. Oh, okay? Wonderful. Salute. Cheers. Salute. Leonardo Ristorante is proud to present close capturing for the hearing impaired. Welcome to Desert Outreach Synagogue, the voice of the valley. A place called home to anyone who needs one. A place of incredible music, community, conversation, and connection. Desert Outreach Synagogue is a place for everyone. Just like every Come join us. You already belong. Hi, I'm Robin Ford. Thinking about selling your home? We have the newest innovation in selling, fast track marketing, custom designed just for you. By using it, your home could be sold while your neighbor still sits on the market. If you're looking for a home, we have many great ones to show you. So for a smooth transaction, call 760-219-0655. Folded Hills is about sharing what we have. The way we make the wine is a very hands-off policy with as little intervention as possible. The grapes are all grown organically. I come from the beer world. We really listened to this land and we chose the grown varietals because this is what this land and this place calls for. We have weak Wi-Fi but strong connections. A great place to unplug. So we're gonna do a little competition here. What are we making? We're gonna make a tiramisu, and uh, we will work on two different things. I can do the zabaione. Zabaione is a egg yolk, mm -hmm. sugar, marsala, and a little bit of vanilla, mm -hmm. and egg yolk roux. Perfect. I'm gonna whisk those all together until they become double the size and change the color. You'll be using the same thing by doing only the whipped cream. I'm whipping cream by You're whipping by the hand. cream by hand, yes. We're both gonna do it together, okay? Okay. Tools. Tools, we have a whisk. Is that good enough for you? It's too big. I think it's okay, I it's might okay. need it. I use this in the kitchen to whip my guys. And I'm getting my cream, right? Okay, here. you get your cream and I'll do that for you. Okay. No sugar, okay. I just use the sugar myself. That's plenty. Right. We do the egg yolk. Okay. A little bit of marsala. Tell me when. You're always so generous. More? That's good. Okay. Fantastico. A little sugar. And then a little bit of vanilla. All right, look at that. Are we gonna get that off from here? Yeah, I don't oh, know. Oh, here we go, like this. The traditional way. And we go. Okay, double the size. Oh. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. 
Once in a while, we're gonna go ahead and switch, okay? Yes. Oh my god. So people can see what we're doing. This is much harder. Don't well, try this at home. You know what? That's we also you can be using your same machine. Yes, you could. Yeah. So this is time we switch. What am I doing? Oh, okay. And you go here. Okay. Okay. And I go here. I know. Look at okay, that. Okay, it's fine. So here, just go like like I do. What we are trying to do here, we whisk in everything together and keep the same consistency. So you're doing good. All right, now we're gonna take a little break. Okay. okay. I was taking a little break. Okay, okay you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. You yeah. go back on it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it easy for you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of cream. Mascarpone, sorry. Okay. okay, you just whisk a little bit inside, and I'm gonna do the rest on my side. Okay, okay. we are almost there. Okay, so nice and easy. Just go slow. This is gonna be a little hard right there. This is one of my favorite desserts. Oh. Mm. You see that it changes so. a little color a little bit. Yes. Now, for those of you at home, you can use a mixer machine or a little blender to do this. I recommend. That's really easy. I like the way it's yours. Okay. Is, mine, is mine the right consistency? Yours is nice. You okay. can put yours here. All right. Now you can put your whip away. Okay. And I like your eggs. I like the different color. I'm going to put my cream inside. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? And we can put this one on the side too. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and mix it again. Just everything together. Now, Beautiful. remember when I say that I want it really hard? I don't really want it really hard because we're gonna pour them in the glass and let them sit. Look at it, there's two different things. Italian. If you do it, there is a smooth side, okay? Mm -hmm. And a sugary side. Right. What I like to do myself, I dip the sugar and then I turn it this way so everything else melts it through. Makes a little syrup on it. So we are almost there. All right, here we go. Always smiling while you're whisking. Okay, oh, so, so I kind of like though. it, but always like to. Okay. Mm. Perfect. The best. You need anything? You should try it. I will. Mm. Wow. The yolk, the mascarpone. It's good, huh? All right, very Beautiful. good. So let's go make some espresso and uh, get our glass and we put them together. Okay. Okay, so we have our espresso ready, our lady finger, our glass, and our cream that we just made and chilled a little bit. So, so tiramisu I've only ever seen in a big pan. This is so great that we are now the, just it, serving it to the guests. Yeah, it you know, makes a nice presentation. It's individually. You can make this a couple days before. Oh. Never so put easy. the cocoa on it right away, always at the last minute. Okay. And makes a, I, makes a very elegant presentation Beautiful. on the table. Okay, so now you dip the lady finger sugar down. That's right, that's right, that's right. And sugar up or down now? Sugar up. Sugar up. Yeah, just from inside there. Okay. You start from here. We're gonna do two layers, just like that. You're doing a good job right there. Tiramisu also, after we make it, you need to kind of stay a little bit, okay? Like at least 48 hours. Oh, so yeah. two days? You can make this two days in oh, advance, yeah, it can, would be better. Oh, yeah, you can make it before, too, Dan. Okay. All right, so once you're done, I'm gonna go ahead and I use a ladle, which is already measured. And look, I'll pour them in. You see, oh, that's kind of liquid, I guess. Don't worry, this is gonna set in the refrigerator. And now another layer? Another layer. Does it matter which direction, switch directions? Or Just, no? Yeah, it doesn't matter which direction, but uh, you can cross them. So it's like they stay together. So while you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and fill them up. This is using a little more espresso than I thought I would use. Oh, it's yeah. really sucking that liquid up. You know, that's why they call them tiramisu. What that does that mean? Pick me up. After uh, your big well, meal on the table, you get will. this. You know what, actually we can go ahead and do another layer if you like. Okay. What do you think? That looks good, actually. I'll leave it like that. Because then we could do a little garnish on top, right? Yes, we can. Here we go. You're learning fast. Mm. Okay, I want to cover them all, 
but also I'll show you a little technique right here. I'm gonna put a little extra cream. So how much espresso would you say for a six? Well, let's say maybe six cups. I know, yeah, I was six, surprised yeah. by that, yeah. So put a little bit in here, and a little bit, that's good, yeah, it's nice. Thank you for doing that. It's nice when they come apart. This is for the kids. All right, so we have our tiramisu. You can see the lady, you look a little bit, huh? Eh? How nice it is. This they can expand, but still gonna be going good. This is gonna be going, it's gonna be doing it. Okay. As soon as fully absorbed. So we'll refrigerate all this, and then what we'll do, we just get some nice cocoa, no sugar, bitter sweet cocoa, and put them on top. I will do a spoon and a napkin. Mm. Only one spoon, no two, okay. no sherry. I can't wait. Hi, my name is Greg Jones. My wife and I bought Gold Coast Motors 26 years ago after running the 10th largest Ford dealership in the United States. Yes, they are small, but what you get is 33 years of experience and Greg's personal attention to detail. He buys every car, truck, and SUV that goes on the lot. Our family has bought 14 vehicles from Greg. We are members of Cuddle, so financing is not an issue. Call me, you'll be glad you did. We're not going anywhere. Call Gold Coast Motors, 805-350-1350. Hi, I'm Leonardo. I bring to you regional Italian food from Italy, my home, to you, to Solvang. Cooking is like love. You either throw yourself all in or you don't do it at all. can almost taste the excitement. You can almost taste the anticipation. And very soon, you will be able to taste all the new Warson Wines. Launching April 2020. Warson Wine. Watch us grow at warsonwine.com. Okay, why don't we start plating dinner? Lou and Kathy, they should be here soon. Good, perfect. Oh, here they're coming. Oh, hi. Welcome, Lou and Kathy, Kim and I, from Folden Hills Winery, prepare a wonderful dinner for you. Branzino in crosta di patate and tiramisu with risotto al zafferano. Oh, boy. Shall we start? Absolutely. I know that you all love wine, and we have a brand new winery called Folded Hills. We've only been in business for two years and we grow our grapes all organically. We make a very clean bottle of wine. I'm pouring a little bit of the Grenache Blanc. This is the August White, named after uh, my husband's father and grandfather, August Bush. August Bush Jr. gave August Sr. the very first pitch of Clydesdales to celebrate the repeal of Prohibition. And now we're enjoying post-Prohibition wine. What do we say? Salute? Salute. <laughs> Prego. Salute. Welcome. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Thank you for joining Welcome, us. Kathy. Welcome, Kathy. Welcome, you. Good. This wow. was so easy to make. Easy for it's me, so anyway. Pretty. Branzino, to me, is a hard fish to cook. So here we have all the fresh herbs that were brought from the farm you mm brought -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh thyme, parsley, oregano, and of course the wine that we use for our risotto and uh, we just put it together today over a cup of wine and uh, espresso. Espresso. espresso for dessert. For dessert. Mm -hmm. So should we go ahead and start? Yes. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. The fish is also bone free. Okay, so you can just cut him. Fish of your hometown oh. or your home region. Fish of the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, beautiful. Mm. Well, what do you think? Amazing. Delicious. This yeah. is amazing. Okay, should we have dessert? Yes. Great idea. Okay, there you go. This was all whipped by hand, Kathy and Lou. 
Wow. A lot of muscle went into yeah, this dessert. You know, I think when you do it by hand, you just the egg yolk and the cream as associated different consistency by done by a machine. Okay. Yeah, so mm, let's nice. dive in, huh? Beautiful. Yeah, that's my favorite part oh, okay. of our dinner today, right here. Mm. Mm. Is there a difference? Mm -hmm. This is the best I've ever tasted. Mm. Mm. Shall I pour a little red wine to go with this? Oh, yeah. We have a little estate Grenache, Grant Grenache. Might be delicious with this. And the Grant is named after? The Grant actually is named after Ulysses S. Grant, who was the first farmsteader of the property that my husband grew up on in St. Louis, Missouri. It was also the prototype of all the Bush Gardens. Wow. So it was open to the public in 1952. Cheers. So enjoy. Right. Salud. Salud. Salute. Salute. Well, I want to thank you, Kim, for helping me today. He made it easy. And uh, Lou and Kathy to be our guest. Thank you. Thank you. Will you come we back so we can do this again? Oh. Absolutely. Without a doubt. We're looking forward to having you again. Thank you all. Salute. 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 Welcome to San Inez Valley. Thank you. And now a moment with Melinda Lee. Well, since I was a caterer for 11 years before I was ever uh, doing my radio show, lots of people ask me a lot of things about entertaining. I know it's a pressure thing, so here are some of my best ideas. First of all, in the cool of an evening long in advance of the party, plan the menu carefully. Consider how really talented you are and how into last minute insanity you are. Maybe you're not, and so plan things that could be made in advance, and there's very little to do right at the end. Make sure you allow for vegetarians and gluten-free and all the other dietary restrictions that there might be so that your menu is such that people can make a meal leaving out the thing they can't have. Then you want to plan your party area. If it is a sit-down dinner, of course, that's a simple thing. You've got the table, and you're going to set it, and that's the end of it. But if you are planning a bigger party, you can plan more than one buffet, for example, two identical ones, or different foods at different tables in different areas. It keeps the party moving, and it's very fun. It's kind of a discovery. Uh, you want to separate the beverage area or bar, wherever the liquid refreshments are, from the buffet. Don't put them near each other because you will have a traffic jam. And on the subject of traffic jams, try to avoid a dead end, like putting a buffet at the end of a hall where there's not enough room to get there and then get back out of there using another route. So think about traffic jams. Well, you had to know I was going to end up with more tips than I could squeeze in. So that's the list for today. But keep watching because more are coming. What's cooking California.com for featured recipes.